Hi, I'm Ashlyn and I'm on a journey to own a home without a mortgage in the next five years. Today you're joining me for my February budget, so let's jump into doing that. So I like to use the Every Dollar app. It's something that we haven't really used a whole ton in the past, but I would say in the last four months we've been using it more and I've really liked it. Um, I feel like the Every Dollar way works really well for us. So I'll just come in here and start my February budget. First two paychecks, because I'm the only one working right now, we just have two paychecks a month. So moving down, we have our giving section. That's where we have our tithing and then our savings. So in the month of February, I don't believe we have any birthdays that we need to worry about. Our house fund, I'm gonna bring that back up to 300. Last month we had some car stuff come up, which was fun, so we didn't get to put as much as we wanted in there. And then I probably will come back to that school sinking fund. Rent is good. Transportation, let's see. You can see from last month what our numbers were. Gas this month, I really think we'll be able to stick to 200. Maintenance. I need to ask my husband if there's anything that needs to happen on the car, but for now I'm just going to put 100 in there. And then car insurance, I need to check and see what... It's different every month, which has been a little bit annoying, but we'll go into Geico in 211.02, and it looks like that's going to be pretty consistent. So 211.02 for car insurance. Groceries were a bit high last month. We're going to try to stick to 300 this month. It's been kind of hard to stick with that. Um, we've been going over a little bit. So I'm just going to put it at 300 again this month. And if we again go over by about 25 to 30 dollars, then I'm just going to increase that for March. Dog food. I'm going to leave that one. We're going to need to get another bag. I'm going to leave diapers as well. I think we're going to need some more of those. Okay, phone. Let's see, fun money. We don't need any more winter clothes, which is good. Fun money, I think. I mean, we've got Valentine's Day in here. I'm going to leave it at 150. Our vet bill. We don't have to pay that this month, so that's good. Textbooks, we're good there too. Miscellaneous, I'm just gonna put $30. The thing with a budget is that when you're doing the every dollar budget, people feel like you have to put all of your money to specific categories and then it can't move or ebb or flow or anything. And then everything else has to go into savings. But in our case, Sometimes there are things that come up that we either need to spend on or want to spend on. We'll put a miscellaneous category just as a little bit of a buffer um, in the account that's still in our budget. We can use it if we want to. If not, it can go into savings at the end of the month. Um, but I've found that that's helpful in not increasing certain budgets or going over. And then the eye doctor, I'm gonna set it at zero for now because I have no idea what that charge is gonna be but we will probably come back in for that. I'm gonna add a few items in. So we've been talking a lot about um, what we wanna do in our living room as far as interior design. Um, my husband has recently picked up playing the violin and he thinks it would be useful to have a mirror to see his posture and how he's holding the violin, that sort of thing. And I also would love to have a mirror in this room anyway. So I think I'm gonna put um, home design and I will put $100 in there. That should get us a good decent sized mirror to go in this room. Um, and if we don't use all of it, then that's great. Childcare, 12 times 40 equals 480. So we'll set that to Honestly, $4.95 works because I think we'll probably have her watch her when we go on a date one of these days too. So I'll leave that at $4.95. So with all of that said, we have our home design in there. We have a miscellaneous budget, childcare. 
subscriptions, fun money, phone, diapers, dog food, groceries, car insurance, gate maintenance, gas, mortgage, school sinking fund. I'm gonna put 200 in there. And then we will just add that last 175 to the house fund. So that is how I do my basic budget. This does change throughout the month. Sometimes I'll take from one category and add to another, but usually it comes out to being what we have in the savings category stays there and the spending category stays there. This is just how I do my budgeting. It's pretty quick, it's easy. I don't have any of the like big spreadsheets with graphs and like the aesthetic look, um, but this is what works for me right now. If you haven't tried every dollar, I think it's worth trying out. Um, it's a good way to just tell your money where to go at the beginning of the month so that at the end of the month, you aren't wondering where it went. If you liked this video, then I think you will like this video that I have here linked on the screen now. And I will see you next Sunday for another video.